Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. KCT 2023 option entry is just around the corner and during this time I am continuously getting messages from you people asking me to upload a video about what things I kept in mind or how did I manage to prepare my option entry list during KCT 2022. And for the same reason I am uploading this particular video today in which I will be discussing topics such as how to prepare your option entry list and the second important topic is about the things which you need to keep in mind while you are preparing your option entry list and the third important thing is the things which you need to be careful while you are preparing the same so i hope this video will be very much exciting and in the same way informative for you guys who are very much curious and excited for this option entry process but i know that many of you will be a little nervous about whether you will be able to make it or not in uh, the results of the option entry so that is completely fine because you are not the only one who is experiencing this and if you are looking for someone who has experienced the same thing then uh, you can just look at me once so with that note i hope uh, we can start this video guys so the first important thing is about how to prepare your option entry list during this time you should be understanding how the software works yes guys first and foremost thing when you are up to something, you should be able to understand how the journey is or the roadmap is. And for that particular thing, the roadmap or the journey or the middleman which bridges the gap between you and your dream seat is the software which allots you seats uh, as part of option entry 2023. And for that reason, you should be knowing about how the option entry software works. You need not go anywhere. I have already uploaded a video in my channel itself about how the software works. So that has got a very good response from those people who have watched it and I would strongly recommend you to watch that particular video as soon as you complete this video guys. And then the second thing is about the format of your option entry list. Listen to me carefully guys. So this I, if you are someone who is carefully listening to what I say right now, you will be able to understand that this follows true or this holds true for all the people from all the rank ranges from 1 to up to 2 lakh 2. So, so when you are preparing your option entry list, it should uh, predominantly be divided into three different segments. So that is one thing which I uh, was advised by my brother and that has helped me a lot. And that is one thing which I have been suggesting to many people who just succeeded in their option entry last year. So that is the same thing which I am telling right now your option entry list should be divided into three segments so now the biggest question in your mind should be about what are these three segments okay guys so let us go slowly itself because these things are really important and this uh, holds a lot of importance when it comes to the content of this particular video yes we talked about the three segments so now what are the three segments first segment should be colleges and seats which even your rank couldn't afford that is suppose uh, as always let me take an example of me itself who secured around 2200 rank 2233 if i'm not wrong yeah i know that uh, my community members who are watching this video will would have already gone through many series of cutoffs of last year and you may have understood that for my particular rank rvcs is close to impossible but still again listen to me guys so you should be placing certain colleges or seats or top colleges and top uh, branches in that particular colleges at the top even if your rank isn't affording it yes guys many people just neglect this so this is one thing which i have been telling since last year and I uh, just experienced this while even I was providing my option entry guys. So keep certain options of these top colleges which even your rank wouldn't come into. So those colleges also let them be there because option entry is a process wherein it doesn't look for the top colleges should be assigned for top rank people itself. So that is one thing which is a myth in many people and it was a myth in my mind too so i just got it cleared and it has helped me a lot and i want all of you guys to make a note of it and then talking about the next particular segment yes i was taking my example coming back to that i uh, if you are someone who is lying between that particular rank range of 2000 to 2500 let this rvcs option let the pescs option and let the bmscs option so these are some top colleges which provide a computer science engineering uh, degree for undergraduate as an undergraduate course and you should be placing these things above your option entry list and then talking about the second segment second segment should be carefully crafted guys so uh, I hope again as I told you earlier many of you would have gone through series of cutoffs of last year and you would have got a brief idea about which colleges or courses 
you will be able to afford with your particular rank. If you are someone who is having around 10k to 12k, then you will have a set of colleges or a set of courses in your mind, which you think will be allotted for your particular rank based on the category wise cutoff of the last year. You have to make a note of this particular thing that the second segment should contain colleges or options, which you, which are, uh, is kind of allotable for your particular rank. I hope you got this guys. And the third segment, as I told you earlier, should be containing colleges or options, which is way below your rank. Suppose you have got a rank around 5,000. You should be putting certain colleges whose cutoff ranges from 8K to 10K too. Cause as we always tell along with carefully uh, crafting plan A, you should have a plan B, which should be working in case plan A fails. So that is the strategy which I was talking about. And my option entry was also uh, crafted in the same fashion. I mean, the format of my option entry list was the same. The first segment had colleges and courses, which uh, my rank was <laughs> far beyond it. And the second segment had colleges like SJC and NI, which I was willing to enter. And the third segment also had colleges such as VVC and all, which was again, which was uh, easily allotable for my rank, but still I had kept those as a plan B thing. Now I hope I gave you a brief idea about how your option entry list should be, but the job is only 10% over. Listening to me is not uh, enough guys. As soon as you watch this video, if you are someone who hasn't watched that, how does the option entry software work? You just go through it. Then you will be in a position to create your option entry list right now itself. Remaining 90% is in your hands. You should be going through uh, previous years cutoffs and uh, you should be able to prepare a tentative list, which you would provide to KCT 2023 option entry through which all of you guys of my community should will be getting a good course. I mean, a good seat in a good college. So that is something which I have been looking forward to since I started this beautiful YouTube channel. Uh, if you are someone who is entering this option entry process and wanted to make this option entry journey a little bit smoother, then you can just join our exclusive telegram group for KCT 2023 aspirants, whose link has been provided in the description. And uh, again, I also will be available out there if you have certain particular questions, which you need to ask to me. And if you are someone who is new to this channel, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button cause I don't want you guys to falter in this option entry process, which I consider equally important, like your KCT 2023 exam. And more importantly, like this video if you uh, enjoyed watching this video and if you were able to grab something important out of this, and that will give me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos about option entry, about making your option entry more effective in the coming days, guys. Wishing you all the very best for your upcoming option entry. This is Dishan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.